Namashiva students. As you know, we have already come to the end of the chapter, The Little Girl. In this video, we will be completing the rest of the portion and hence we will be completing the entire text here. Let's start with the text. But the same old nightmare came, the butcher with a knife and a rope, who came nearer and nearer, smiling that dreadful smile. While she could not move, could only stand still, crying out, Grandma, Grandma, she woke shivering to see father beside her bed, a candle in his hand. So now this is a nightmare that Kezia had often seen. She would see a butcher. So this butcher would hold a big knife, a huge butcher's knife and a rope and he would approach Kezia. He had a dreadful smile on his face. And once Kezia would see him, she would feel that she was unable to move. She was so much scared of him, she was terrified to see this butcher. And in her sleep, Kezia cried out for help. She called for her grandmother. When Kezia woke up, she was shivering. She was trembling and she saw that her father was standing next to her bed and he was holding a candle in his hand. So Kezia's father had heard her screams and he had heard that Kezia was calling for her grandmother and he had come to help her. What's the matter? he asked. Oh, a butcher, a knife, I want granny. Now, he asked Kezia, what was the matter? Why was she screaming? Kezia was still scared of the nightmare. She said that there was a butcher. He was holding a dreadful knife and she wanted her grandmother. He blew out the candle, bent down and caught up the child in his arms carrying her along the passage to the big bedroom. So here we can see the affection that Kezia's father has for her. He blew the candle off, he lifted her and carried her to his bedroom. A newspaper was on the bed. He put away the paper then carefully tucked up the child. He lay down beside her, half asleep still Still with a butcher's smile all about her, it seemed, she crept close to him, snuggled her head under his arm, held tightly to his shirt. Kezia's father lay her in his bed next to him and covered her with the top sheets. Now Kezia felt her father's affection and so she went close to him. She snuggled herself towards her father and she held his shirt tightly so that she would not feel scared again. And now, and now Kezia had overcome her fear of her father. Then the dark did not matter. She lay still. Here, rub your feet against my legs and get them warm, said father. Now once Kezia was with her father, she was no longer afraid. He asked Kezia to rub her feet against his legs so that they become warm. Tried out, he slept before the little girl. A funny feeling came over her. Poor father, not so big after all, and with no one to look after him, he was harder than grandmother. But it was a nice hardness. And every day he had to work and was too tired to be a Mr. MacDonald. She had torn up all his beautiful writing. She stirred suddenly and shied. Now here, Kezia realizes her mistake and she had affection towards her father. She felt that her father was a poor man. He worked so hard. He was not so big as she found him to be earlier. Now, she felt that her father was a poor man who worked very hard and so he got so tired that he went off to sleep and did not play with her like Mr. MacDonald did with his children. But Kezia felt that her father's heart was also full of love for her. 
she realizes that she has torn up his important document that is the speech that he has written and all this realization makes sure to take a deep breath she realizes that she had been wrong and that is why her father had beaten her he had been so strict with her what's the matter asked her father another dream all the kezia's father was asleep he heard her shy he heard the sound that kezia made and he asked her what the matter was was she again watching a bad dream oh said the little girl my head's on your heart i can hear it going what a big heart you have got father dear kezia replied to her father that she had placed her head on her father's heart and she could hear his heart beat and she complimented her father that he had a big heart so kezia is showing her love for her father as she had realized that her father also loved her so here we finish the entire chapter the little girl as i have already told you you can very much relate to this story since we are at times very much scared of our parents we do not like some of their actions some of their words but end of the day we find them loving us with their whole heart and doing whatever is good for us but it's late for us to realize that thank you om namah shivaya